Hey, and it's me again. It's great. I know it's been a long time. Probably will be another long time until my next video. Don't know why though. So. But um, anyway, um, this is just a quick recap sort of thing. Yeah, I make videos. I like doing it and all that jazz. But anyway, I don't know what this video is really about. Um, I went to see Blood Bowlers on Friday the second of October, and it was absolutely amazing. It is. One minute. Blood Brothers. That's my program. Very nice. Yes. Um, it is. A, I have to admit, it's a really, really, really good musical. I'm actually trying to find just because that's like anything in it about it. But yeah. That's how I went to see. Well, not him. To see Lynn Paul. She was very good. She had an amazing voice. But yeah, um, I went to see it and it was like, um, I've been waiting a while to see it because um, my aunt used to see it. And well, she loved it. She's seen it 26 times now and that's how I went to see it. I went to see it with Alhambra and Dunfermline. And yeah. Oh, my ticket. I love my ticket. No one's touching my ticket. For some reason I like seeing the word ticket. But yeah, Blood Brothers is about um it's about two twins. Two twins, obviously it's about twins. Who are um well, they're born but um Mrs. Johnson, that's the mother, has already had about seven children. So um she decides to give one of the twins away to Mrs. Lyons because she can't have children. So she gives away um one of the children who gets called Eddie and then she um she keeps Mickey. 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 Mickey, yeah. And then um it's all about like how Mickey and Eddie become Mickey and Eddie and become friends and like they're better like they're best friend or blood brothers. Um and then um no. <laughs> no, they become blood brothers and um, they're like the best friends throughout their life, but then um, Eddie moves away because Mrs. Lyon's scared in case Mrs. Johnson's going to try and take Eddie back. So, Mrs. Lyons comes up with this, some, well, this fake superstition because Mrs. Johnson's quite a superstitious person. She comes up with this fake superstition, superstition I can't say that word, saying that um, if twins who are being secretly partied find out that they're a twin, they both die instantly. And that's how it ends. Um, Mikey is a way to kill Eddie because Eddie's been having some fun with Linda, who is Mikey's wife. And then, um, then um, that's when Mrs. Johnson comes out and says, "Look, he's your, he's your, he's your twin brother. He's the one you lost. He, he's the one I told you you lost when we were younger." Then um, Mickey takes a whole fit thing saying why didn't you give me a wee opportunity as well as him and blah 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 and then he shoots him and Mickey gets shot by the police and then they're both dead. See? They found out. They died instantly. And well the final what thing like, that I really like is well actually it starts off with the narrator saying did you hear the story of the Johnson twins as like each other as two new twins on one one born on the same self day? How one was kept and given away. That's at the start. That's one of the first few lines. Then later on, just after Mickey's and Ed have been shot, the narrator comes on. Did you ever hear the story of the Johnson twins as like each other as two new twins? How one was kept and given away, how they were born and they died on one on the on the same self day. And I think that's really good. So yeah. Well, that's my Blood Brothers review. I highly recommend it to everyone. It is an absolute amazing musical. I mean, I want to go see it again. Because it's that good. But yeah. So, go see it. Have a laugh. and Well, not have a laugh because I was almost crying at the end. It was that sad. But yeah, go see it. Enjoy it. And Tell me what you think of it. Unless you've already, unless you've already seen it, like leave comments or mail me or whatever. Tell me how you, you enjoyed it. Okay, bye.